Hello and welcome to weekly vlog number five. I have been doing this for now five weeks. So basically it is Sunday. Um, yeah, basically it's Sunday and I am gonna be making my, like technically dad for like Father's Day slash his birthday, which was last week, like a little indoor picnic. I'm gonna like make this all tidy and just have it in here because it's like not great weather. Um, so I'll show you what I make after I've done it, but I've got a few things to bake. So I won't show you me doing it because it's gonna take me a while, but I'll show you once it's finished. Um, I've got Emma's hairband in my hair, which is quite funny because I've also got the red one on my wrist. Um, the blue one, I purchased this recently. I'll link her Instagram below she's my friend who makes these scrunchies and sells them on her etsy so i'll link her instagram below if you want to check them out because they're actually amazing but i'm gonna need to get cracking on now because it's getting late and i need to bake two different things and then cook something so see you then just in the middle of cooking i try attempting to make the tiktok pasta sauce thing that was trending ages ago Mum, do you want to film me? It might not mix. I'm just looking at that pasta sauce and... This one. Oh, can you imagine just some crusty bread just dipped into that? Ooh. Oh, hello. Let's mix it up. That is my kind of thing. Look at him! Get Dad, out! there is a sour cream dip there. You didn't ought to start yet, dear. No. Oh, it smells really good. It looks really good. Oh, my word. There's garlic in there too, isn't there? Yeah. And then I add the pasta to this. Oh, yummy. You have my permission, if you want to, to add some fresh basil leaves from my plant over there. Yeah. Yeah? Should I do that when the pasta's in here or now? I think just before serving, because they can wilt and lose their flavour. Right, this right. is it. We have warm sausage rolls, Woo! blue cheese, brie, crackers, sauces and breads, the TikTok pasta, which I tried and I really like it. Um, oh, halloumi. halloumi, some salady bits and some crisps, and then brownie and birthday cake for after. A We're going to light. Oh, where's the cake gone? Yeah. We're going to light Dad's the cake. The oh, who puts it in there? It definitely came here. I'm just trying to think where they went. Here it is with no candles. I need to light it. We're waiting for Tommy. It's got crunchy pieces on it, chocolate ganache, and in the middle, strawberries um, and more ganache, but it's like a vanilla sponge. What are you drinking, Dylan? Dark fruits. Ah. Yeah. I, don't like, I don't like cider. Should so. I put another light on? No, it's fine like this. Aww. Well, it's about to be... Happy birthday <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> <Bless>. Happy oh, birthday. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah. You, you're going to be like those kids that sneeze on your cake to play the yeah. day. Happy birthday. <laughs> they are still in there. This isn't painted, is it? No, it's just the guys. Recently. Uh, yes. It's quite fun then. It's a bit sticky. Yeah. Yeah. Painted it back two hours ago. Did you? Mm. Oh. That's a lie. Oh, was it? We was eating our dinner two hours ago. Oh. Pew, 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 ago. pew, 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 pew. It'd be cheaper to use a mat, because it's a mat of gas. Hey. Well. No, because I'd have to get through about ten matches, because it's me. I'll do it. Where's Tommy? Go to turn my camera off before it runs out of battery. Mm. I'm taking that, it's going to cost too much oh, gas. Oh, no, don't let it stress you. Oh, who's following? Me. Who do you think? <laughs> yeah, we're not near the naked snake. Yeah, you help me out. Oh, when's that? <laughs> Never mind. Somebody's dumped. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use some gas here, Georgie. They're quite oh, difficult to light, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Can you do that pink one in the middle? You're dropping wax here, there, and everywhere. Oh no, look at the cake. There's loads oh. of wax on it from Dad's thingy. It's alright. There's loads of wax on it from Dad's candle. Yeah, I'm not killers. Well, it's not, I'm not going to eat it. Is that a crunchy oh. bar on the top? Yeah. Oh. Along with wax. Itchy bomb. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Dad. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Dad. 
blow out the candles. No, oh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dad! Definitely spout all over. <laughs> well, no, it, what a spout Are you ready now? <laughs> Oh, oh, who's there? Oh, yeah, he's got a knife in there. Well done. Woo! Shall we turn the light on to cut the cake? Don't do that in the dark. I don't want to walk into that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. We just need to pull the thing up there. Do we have. Oh, no. Oh, I need a fork. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, this is what the cake looks like up close, if anyone was wondering. <laughs> With lots of blue wax on it, thank you it's very like much. It's about 180 times. Yeah. <laughs> so, Mum, do you, do you want to cut no, or? No. Shall <laughs> no. I cut it then? Yeah. All that blue stuff. That's Hopefully good, the yeah. strawberries are okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a bit hot. Dylan, I've inserted a picture on in now, the Tom. vlog from last week that's going up tomorrow of oh, you with all the yes. coffee spilled on oh, it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Phil. I'm Teddy. Oh. Tommy. What? I lost Jenny Shane. Making my brain move. Only Mark here. Oh, you're attacking me. You attack me all the time. This isn't going to end well. Tommy, careful. Yeah, look at it. Oh. Tommy, stop. Hey, you're not near the Oscar level. Oh, shut yeah. up. <laughs> you're hurting it. I'm doing a little deal. I'm doing a little deal. Look at it. Oh my God, I'm going to get injured. Bill, don't ask it on my knee. Right, does somebody want to cut? Show it off for the camera, look. Right, oh, I'm, I'm cutting it. Oh, show it off for the cameras, everyone. Come on, we stay. <laughs> I just filmed. Would you like me to hold the camera? No, it's cool. I've got it. Just that I feel a bit vulnerable sat there. I'm going to get somebody to tap my lap. <laughs> Can I just pick the bits off the top? Oh my, a bit of wax. What a strange thing to oh, say. Oh, look at the thing. That was beautiful. There's the strawberries. That <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like on the inside. <laughs> If the spot and soggy, it's from the strawberries. What did you do? Can you tell? Yeah. Of course I am. You know. Why not? Don't Tommy, why is your hair like that? Don't worry about it. He's changing. He's changing. 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 It's changing, man. I'm sorry, I'm not serious. You what? Not serious. It is. It's not serious. No. Oh. Look serious to me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Good night. We're going to go around the grounds. Oh, yeah, I'm going yes. too. Yeah. Go in the grounds. Yes. I'll take the camera around the grounds another day. <laughs> what is going on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think that's what we were doing? Right, good night everybody. <laughs> It's now Monday. I just edited yesterday's portion of the vlog and it's already like nine minutes long. So that was quite a busy uh, day. Um, I need to hurry up. I'm going to be late for work. See you later. I'm back home now. Mum's making some food. I'm actually really warm. Um, I think it's because I'm sat in the sunshine. I'm in the conservatory watching Jamie Genevieve on YouTube. I can't really see it because the screen's reflecting. Got an elderflower cordial drink. Um, it's like soda water. I really like elderflower um, cordial mixed with soda water. It tastes really good. Good day at work. We was pulling loads of plants out of the ground, literally tons, and had to like shove them in the van at the end of it. Tommy lost one of my AirPods in stacks and stacks of barley. So, um, yeah, that was annoying, but then he did find it, so it's okay. But that took us about 10 minutes to find that because, you know, it's literally a needle in a haystack. It is literally a headphone, um, an ear pod, or an AirPod, or whatever, in a haystack. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm tired now, so I'm just going to chill for a bit. And I thought I would just tell you how my day went. Freddie's out mowing the lawn, as usual. Mm -hmm. 
Mum's made a gigantic sausage roll. And it's all mine. <laughs> I wish. That is gigantic, isn't it? It is massive. Do you want me to cut There's into it? vegetables cooking. She's yeah, going to do mashed it. potato. Oh, yeah, about to mash that, but I'm going to put the She on. broke the potato masher. Oh. I put it in the um, dishwasher and it... Oh, now it won't come apart. There. It's yeah. just going to keep coming So that's not going to gonna work. It's a really good masher as well, so I'm going to get it glued and just not put it in the... I don't want to put it in the dishwasher though, I don't want to wash it up by hand. Should we chop this up? Yeah. Should we cut a tiny slice from the end just to have a look? Shall we be psychopathic and cut it that way down? Oh no. <laughs> that, no, I'm not. I'm joking. On, That's why I said psychopathic. This is where it's completely raw in the middle. Oh my god. I kind of made my own filling. What? Oh yeah. I've um. What have I done? Pack of sausages and I squeeze them out of skins. Um, there's onions in there. There's chives in there. There's egg in there. But the main ingredient is a joint of gammon, like one of those like round gammons, which I've put in the food processor and blitzed it up. Um, and then squished it all together. Oh, breadcrumbs went in there too. Should I pull out a slice and let you have a look? It's quite sticky underneath, but that's kind of cool. That looks all right, doesn't it? That looks cool. Hi, Dad. Same. Hello, Georgie. Yeah, yeah, it's just about ready. Is it burnt yeah. to treat? Towels as well. Like, I've never splurged on face cloths or towels. I've always just got IKEA towels, but this banana, you know when you just want to be a part of it? So I've got two, and then I've opened one, and then I'm going to keep one for good. Is anybody else doing that? I have a bowl of water. I would collect things and then have them on a shelf and never use them before they are too good. Where have you been living water? Hey, Mom. Hey. Is it raining? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's raining. It's actually been a good day. Morning. Please. Welcome to day... Well, welcome to Tuesday. It's now Tuesday. The Wi-Fi was down this morning. I think it's due to the rain. I think it might be working now, I'm not sure, but that was quite annoying because it meant I couldn't watch any YouTube whilst I have my breakfast. And Georgie, you do have your routines in the morning. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to be late if I keep talking, so goodbye. Okay, it's now Wednesday. I didn't film anything from Tuesday. Yes, my voice is a little bit croaky. I've only just woken up. I've had a coffee and my throat hurts a little bit anyway. I thought that today I would film my skincare routine. I said last week that this week I'm gonna film my skincare routine. A few people have asked me to do that. Um, so I thought I would show you my morning skincare routine first, which is very simple. First of all, I use this, which is from Lidl. It's the Creighton's Pink Grapefruit um, Refreshing Face Wash. I just use that as my face wash. I try and wash my face somehow um, and show you me doing that. Okay, once my face is all like fresh and clean, I'm now gonna moisturize and I'm just gonna use this Revitalab um, moisturizer. It's a day and night face cream. It's got retinol in it and hyaluronic acid. Do quite like this. Um, I haven't been using my own gel moisturizer because I was gonna make myself another one. Ran out of the ingredients, so I had to take it off my eBay and Etsy anyway. Um, so I need to repurchase the ingredients for that when I've got like the money to do so but i'm just gonna blend this in it's quite softening to the skin um it's only a cheap moisturizer i just wanted something cheap you know until i can you know make my own again my gel moisturizer that i used to sell um but yeah this is quite nice and softening and it smells quite nice so yeah got it off of amazon so i pop that on bring it down my neck a little bit 
with your skincare you're meant to also bring it down sort of the neck area um because your neck um ages really quickly um then i have this which is my sun cream um this is my spf it's spf 30 i use this every single morning i just picked this up from Lidl. nothing expensive and i just take some of that pop it on my face like so and blend it in you want a little bit more sun cream than you would add moisturizer just to make sure that you're covering all the areas i pop it on my ears a little bit with the job that i have i kind of need sun cream on most days because i do um, spend a lot of time in fields and in front of the sun for hours and hours so you need to make sure that you are spf'd up <laughs> um so yeah i've got that on and that is my morning skincare routine it's quite glowy but i do pop on a little bit of makeup before work anyway and i kind of mattify everything down with the makeup um but yeah this is my morning skincare i like to keep it simple because i don't like to have like a ton of products on my face underneath my makeup especially with my oily skin i don't like having products underneath because it can make my skin look quite oily can you see that's glowy um if i had my own way i wouldn't use spf because it does make your skin a little bit greasier um but the sun i don't want to damage my skin so i am going to use it anyway um but if i go on a night out for example on friday i'm going on a night out with my friends it's in the evening I won't be wearing any skincare products underneath my makeup because that's when my makeup looks the best because it doesn't make my skin oily and my makeup lasts longer. But in the daytime, 100%. Um, so I will show you my evening skincare routine when I get back from work because as soon as I get back in, I will be taking my makeup off immediately. Done my makeup now, kind of simple. Um, I've got to go to work soon, but I'm already dressed got this hoodie on just because it's actually kind of cold outside like I don't think it looks cold but it is um but yeah got my makeup on and then as soon as I get home I will 100% be taking this back off but yeah I will see you when I get back from work okay I'm back home from work now I've just flushed the toilet you can probably hear it um great but I thought that I'd show you me removing my makeup now usually when I remove my makeup I use my cleansing balm and also reusable pads to like swipe away like the makeup and cleansing balm but i don't have them with me because not my parents so all i've been doing is literally washing with water but this is my cleansing balm that i use i make it myself and i sell it on my ebay and etsy this is probably my no maybe my joint favorite product that i sell um alongside my charcoal clay face mask because i do really like that as well but this I'm super happy with and since I first like launched this product I have like changed the amount of each ingredient just to kind of get the texture completely like right but this is what it looks like and it says a fresh face by Georgie Carr lemon scented cleansing balm and in we go yes it is dented I accidentally stood on it it was meant for a customer I accidentally stood on it so I was like I'm gonna have to keep that for myself um but that's what it looks like on the inside so i've already had a bit of this and there you go so take a little bit out of the pot and then i just disperse it around my face what quite a lot of my makeup has come off anyway because of me wearing a mask i just kind of rub and like blend blend it in to get rid of any excess makeup this removes like a full face of makeup really quickly as well and then I take the rest kind of like under my eye and then I just place that through my brows and they, they remove that, this is my eyebrows. And then through my eyelashes just to kind of like melt the product into my eyelashes. Like this and it's kind of melted away. I didn't wear that much mascara today and usually like i said i would get like a cloth and wipe away my makeup um and the cleansing balm off my face but i don't have that so i'm just gonna have to wash my face with water and water and oil like you ideally do need to remove it with a cloth or something like that um because you can't just splash your face with water like it won't remove that but that's what i'm gonna have to do and then as soon as i've done that 
I'm gonna get my face wash again, this one that I used this morning, and I'm gonna wash my face properly um, with that just to kind of remove any excess. So it's not ideal that I'm doing this, but I thought I would just let you know. Um, so I'm gonna wash my face now. So this is what my face looks like once I've removed my makeup and washed my face. This is as soon as I get in from work. Later on, I will do a face mask and I will show you that later. I don't know why the lighting makes me look like the room looks so red. I think it's like a warm toned light or something. Um, but anyway, it's been a couple of hours since I got back in from work and since I took off my makeup. I now I'm gonna do a face mask. I literally do a face mask every single day. There probably might be one day a week where I don't do a face mask or something like that. I have loads of different ones. I will quickly show you some of them. I have my hyaluronic acid um, face mask, which I picked up from Shop Miss A. This is one of my favorite, favorite face masks ever. It was 75p and it makes my skin feel so, so soft go and get this face mask um it's not really focusing on it but yeah just a honorable mention to this little guy but i'm not using him today because i only used him the other day i do alternate between my face masks every day i don't use the same mask every day i will use something like a clay mask one day and then a hydrating one another day it's just something i like to do I also have my coffee, Nikki Wagyu and coffee mask from the body shop. I used that last night and I've got this um, vitamin C clay face mask from Gleamin. I did a sponsored video with them um, a few months ago and that's nearly run out. And I also have my charcoal clay face mask, not to hand with me right now because I keep that at my flat because on a weekend that's when I will use that face mask. So these are the ones that I've just brought me with me to kind of use them up and then I will um, stick to mine. But I did bring this with me. So this is my Fresh Face by Georgie Carr Detox Clay Face Mask. This is just 100% pure French clay. And... What I'm going to do is I'm going to video myself showing you how to kind of make this. So like mix it together. I sell this on my eBay and Etsy. It's like a powder where you mix it with water and you basically make the consistency to put on your face for a face mask and then let it dry after about 10 minutes. Now I'm actually going to be filming this for my like Instagram and Facebook as well. So if it sounds weird and if it sounds like I'm not talking to you, it's because I'm talking to my phone. Um, but I will still be doing it. So just so you can see what I'm doing right now. Just going to film me using it. <coughs> I think it's 4 99 So yeah, £4.99 for this little guy. It lasts you a long while. So today I wanted to show you me using my detox clay face mask. This is what it looks like. So this is basically 100% pure French clay. And what you do is you mix it with water and then apply it to your face. So I'm gonna show you me doing that right now. Um, this is available on my eBay and Etsy. I will leave a link either in my description if it's Instagram or the comments if you're watching this on Facebook. And basically it's £4.99 if you was wondering. Um, but I'm going to show you music using this today. So you're going to need like a plate or a bowl, preferably a bowl. I've got this, which I think is perfect. I just found it in my mum's cupboard. A spoon. Now you're going to take a little bit of the mixture like this. I personally don't think you need that much. Um, so pop some in the bowl and then take about a teaspoon's worth of water. And we're gonna gently travel over and pop that in. And then we're just gonna mix this around. So can you see that? You can have it as thick and as runny as you would like. It doesn't particularly matter, um, but if you've got it in a bowl, it's just nice. And once it's like into a nice, like kind of a liquid consistency, take a face mask brush or just use your hands and then oh god i was going to dip it into that um and then get the product dip it in and then start to put it on your face can you see that how it's all like mixed together like a clay face mask now i've done this quite watery like i've added quite a lot of water um to this one um but obviously you can do it as thick and as runny as you like um but it's quite nice when it's like a little bit liquidy because you can just smear it across your face really easily 
So basically the less water you add, like the thicker it will be and therefore um, it won't be as sheer as it is on my skin, like right now. And that is all applied. Now I am just gonna leave this on my skin for about 10 minutes and then it will completely dry and then I will wash it off. Did you get all that? This is what my skin is looking like with the face mask on. See you in 10 minutes. It is halfway through drying. Okay. Okay, it has been nearly 10 minutes. It's nearly dried. I'm now gonna wash off my face mask. It will just wash off instantly, like you won't need to screw it off or anything like that. Um, so yeah. Right, my skin is all nice and clean and refreshed and I'm gonna quickly do my skincare routine and talk you through the products whilst there is still some light in this place. Okay, my camera's only got a few minutes left of filming before it runs out of storage, um, so. First product I use is the Body Shop CBD Restoring Facial Oil. Don't know why, but I picked this up. I think it was on discount from like someone doing the Body Shop at home. But it just makes your skin really nice and soft. And I like to use an oil even though I've got oily skin because it, you know, it does make your skin soft and I like soft skin. I'm not going to compromise on oils and hydrating products because I've got oily skin. I wouldn't use this in the morning before my makeup, but I certainly use this at night. Second product I use is this. This is the um, Balance Active Formula, the Vitamin C Brightening Serum. So this is for glowy skin. I love vitamin C. I will always have this as like an ingredient in my skincare routine because it just gives your skin the best glow ever. Like you'll wake up in the morning with really plump glowy skin. If you use a combination of the products that I um, use in my skincare routine. So I've got obviously like the CBD oil, I've got um, the vitamin C serum that I've got here. And then I also have my hyaluronic acid. So this is the ordinary hyaluronic acid and hyaluronic acid is literally all about skin hydration and like hydrating all of the cells in your face. It's quite a thick sort of ingredient, a lot thicker than any of my other skincare products, but you can really feel like how kind of plump it makes your skin. And in the morning, like I said, your skin feels so plump and soft and um, clear and just nice and glowy and it's just a great ingredient. So I love hyaluronic acid. I would highly recommend it to anybody to be using this, especially if you're like my age category and also the Ordinary is like a great low price product. Then the fourth product I go in with and the last product, I don't have loads of skincare products in my routine anymore. I swear I used to have like a ton, but I like to keep it simple now. Um, I basically in my routine, I've got like all I think I need. I've got an oil. I've got vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. So two kind of serums targeted to what I like in my skincare, which is like, um, you know, hydration, soft skin, glowy skin, that kind of thing. And then a little moisturizer, which is what I mentioned earlier this morning that I used. Um, so I just pump a little bit of that out. Oh, for goodness sake, I accidentally did too much. Not to worry, I'll just bring some down my neck. I always bring my skincare down my neck, as I said this morning and I continue to do that in the evenings as well. I don't usually take that much of this product, but hey-ho. Um, I don't have a specific like nighttime moisturizer. I just use the one um, that I use in the morning because it works well for me. But yeah, that just makes everything extra kind of hydrated and plump and soft. And again, this also has hyaluronic acid in and also retinol, which is an ingredient that I will probably want to look into using a little bit more when I'm a little bit older, not necessarily now. If I have spots, then I will either use my tea tree oil or my Mario Badescu drying lotion, but that's only if I've got like anything like like a big spot or anything, which I don't. Um, and apart from that, that is my full skincare routine. So I like to keep it simple. Um, when my 
hyaluronic acid runs out, I might use some kind of vitamin E serum just to try something different and to kind of mix it up. But apart from that, I really love my skincare routine at the minute. It's simple, but the products I use really are beneficial when my skin went through a time where it was really struggling and it was really dry and I don't know what happened it was just a few days of like my skin being really badly I even filmed it on here um these products made such a massive difference and honestly I was like oh my god skincare products actually work so yeah anyway that's my skincare routine if you was wondering and I will get back to continuing the weekly vlog it is now Thursday I am about to edit what I filmed yesterday and I've just realized I accidentally filmed on my cousin's SD card, but it's okay. I can just, when I finish with it, take that off. What is this? My blusher looks a bit patchy. Does that look patchy to you? It looks like a massive blob. Um, but yeah, I'm editing and then we've got work today. I think we're gonna go out in the field, hopefully. Oh, hi, Tommy. Good morning. Mm. Oh dear, it is a week later. It is now Saturday of a, literally a week after this video. I accidentally left my camera at home all week um, at my flat, so I haven't been able to film. I'm very sorry, but um, it's been a busy week. And um, basically all you missed was that on Friday, I went out for some drinks with my friend Emma and Steph. I can't talk with my friends Emma and Steph um, for Emma's 21st birthday. I will insert some pictures over. We had some drinks. It was actually a really good night. We went to many different places. Um, but yeah, it was really good. Um, so yeah, happy birthday, Emma. Um, even though it's very far after. Um, but yeah, so apologies for that. This vlog's not the best. Um, but next week's vlog hopefully will be a little bit better because I'm just going to remember my camera this time. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you um on thursday for a little life update goodbye